Uh, greetings, friends. Welcome uh, to today's devotional. It is Psalm 43. Vindicate me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people. From those who are deceitful and unjust, deliver me. For you are the God in whom I take refuge. Why have you cast me off? Why must I walk about mournfully because of the oppression of the enemy? O oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy, and I shall praise you with the harp, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise him, my help and my God. So this psalm, uh, Psalm 43, is actually probably a continuation of the previous psalm of psalm 42 it doesn't have a, a superscription or and it kind of starts like sort of in the middle of a psalm but nevertheless uh the um psalmist or the people that put together the canon of scripture uh, chose to make this a separate psalm so that's why i'm treating it as a separate psalm and a separate devotional and uh in this there is a um a kind of repeat uh, from the previous psalm from psalm 42 where the psalmist is asking uh, sort of a rhetorical question, uh, more or less to himself. Um, in the previous uh, psalm, a couple times at least, but in the last verse of that last psalm, it's why, why are you cast down on my soul and why are you disquieted within me? And in this, that is repeated in uh, verse 5. Why are you cast down on my soul and why are you disquieted within me? Uh, giving more credence to the fact that this is probably a continuation of Psalm 42. But nevertheless, that's that's what's standing out uh, and kind of resonating with me today is, is asking that question uh, of oneself. And as Christians, sometimes we, um, well, we there's this false belief among us and probably among non-believers as well is, is that because we're Christians and because of uh, Jesus and our salvation that we should always just be cheerful and happy and life should always be good regardless of what's going on and we should always feel the strength of that connection with God and, and be experiencing the joy that we know that's possible through him at all times. Uh, and, and that's just un, not a reality for any of us. I mean, life is going to get in the way sometimes. Life is going to get us down. And sometimes uh, our our faith, uh, if you will, is, is going to be less um, active. It's going to be less uh, functional in our lives. And we're going to feel distant and and apart from God, we're going to feel as though sometimes God abandoned us. And, and we know certainly because of our faith that it's not true that God has not distanced himself from us. It's just sometimes that's how we feel. And we can attribute that to a number of different things. Uh, but most likely it just has to do with the world that we live in and uh, and the sin that's a part of who we are. That it's it's there's going to be this inner rebellion sometimes that we're not even consciously aware of that sometimes leads us to feel like, God's not there, that, that we don't have that connection. And um, it's okay to be honest about that with people. It's okay to be honest with that about, honest with people whom you are close to, people you go to church with, but we don't always have to be happy and cheerful. When was the last time you walked into church and asked somebody how they were and they went, oh, awful, really horrible. It just doesn't happen because we put on this uh, kind of uh, facade that we're always just great because, well, Jesus loves us and why wouldn't we always be great? Uh, it's at those times and in those moments when I've experienced that in my own life and sometimes for a really extended period of time, uh, sometimes for a year or more and even longer, I, I remember doing that when I was in seminary where I just felt like I was lost at a time and um, people, authors and scholars refer to that as a dark night of the soul and we all experience it at some point. And when we get to that point, it's really when our faith is, uh, actually, it is very functional in us because I, I think deep down we know that God is there. It's just some connection is missing. And it's it's always going to be a connection on our side. It's at that point that we, like the one who wrote this psalm, have uh, one thing that we can cling to and hold on to um, that can sustain us through that, and that's hope. It's the hope that it's not going to last forever. It's the hope that we have in God. It's the hope that we have in Christ. It's the hope that we have in the cross, knowing the sacrifice that God made for us and uh, assuring us with as much as we can, as close as we can get to 100% assurance 
that God is there and that connection is just, for whatever reason, like a bad Wi-Fi connection, it's just kind of gone haywire. But it'll always be bad, come back. And just like we do sometimes with our computers or electronic gadgets, sometimes there just needs to be a reboot. Sometimes a reboot is required, a returning back to something that resonates with us that's very basic in terms of our relationship with God. And, and for me, that was always prayer, just continuing to be consistent in my life of prayer and returning to that and crying out to God and asking that same question, why have you, why are you, why do I feel like you abandoned me and why is my soul so disquieted within me? Um, and the response eventually comes. The response eventually comes or that connection eventually is reestablished uh, just as we've rebooted. Um, so if that's a place where you're at right now because of what's going on now or uh, with a pandemic or some other thing that's happening in your life, know that it's temporary. Know that it won't last forever. Know that it, uh, at some point that connection will be restored and you will be um, have that, once again, have that feeling where you can actually feel good and tell people when they ask you with honesty that I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing really well. So um, that's our devotion for today. Uh, we'll do Psalm 44 tomorrow. Until then, be safe and be blessed.